Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes, and my website is fandangleproductions.com. Uh, in our previous tutorial, we installed Python 3.4.3. Okay, the reason why we chose Python 3.4. Uh, instead of Python 3.5, which is the latest version, is because we want to install WH Python on our Python 3 version. Now, when we do that, we have this code. We put that in the command line to install it. And we go to the Phoenix snapshot builds. And this is the link or the web page with the Phoenix Snapshot builds. We have the versions 27, that's uh, Python 2.7, 3.3, 3.4, there is no 3.5 or 35 here. That's why we only installed Python 3.4.3, not Python 3.5. Okay. So the way that we do that is we use a tool in Python called pip. We can install, we can uninstall, and we can upgrade the modules that we install using pip. Now the way we use pip is we open the command prompt, right? And as I showed you earlier, when we put in the, um, the Windows environment variables for Python, uh, we can open the Python shell just by typing Python and we get the Python shell where we can go print print these double quote hello not world but Python print these so we have the Python shell the way we get out of that is control Z and we're out of there. Okay, so now we want to use pip. So this is the command that we use to install pip, uh, WX Python. So I just highlight that, copy that. Okay, so I just paste that in there and then press enter. Okay, so we've now downloaded it and now it's being installed. Installing collected packages of WX Python Phoenix. Okay, so successfully installed WX Python. So, one website I go to is Mouse vs Python and there is a section on using WX Python frames. There's a lot of information on this website so I do recommend it. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this code here for a default frame to test if WX Python is working. So, I've, I've opened idle uh, best show you how. I click start in the search box. I type idle, press enter, and then idle will open up. Okay, and now I open a new file. So I'm creating a script, and then I will save that here. Uh, I'll save it just in the file there. Cool. My frame pi click save now up here you know run the module f5 so if you press the function key number five and see if it runs there we go so yep wx python is now working wonderful 
Okay, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave your question or comment below this video on YouTube and I'll get to you as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed the video. There will be more coming, but for now, goodbye.